On Halloween night, Brian and Grayson went out to roam for candy and goodness to bring home. I submerged myself in candy heaven once more. The peanut butter M&Ms were still delicious as before, but the airheads tasted like crayons to my surprise. I began to ask myself, was this the beginning of their demise? Had I finally, at the age of 37, lost my taste and become too wise? It can't be true. I'll try one more. Ah, a Twizzler. Those are fun. As I opened the wrapper, I thanked my son. I bit into it and victory was won. Yes, it was still delicious from the start. I'm so glad I'm still a kid at heart. Hey, y'all. That's just a little poem that popped in my head. Um, Grayson came home with all of his uh, candy last night. And if you still stuck around, some people might have saw that I was doing a poem and be like, okay, I don't want to hear this. Bye-bye. So if you're still here, thank you. But uh, Katie, um, Katie brought home Grayson. Grayson brought home his candy and he always is really nice and shares. So I had tried, I used to love Airheads when I was young. And when I tried it, it was a cherry one. It tasted like how a crayon smells. And I thought, Oh, for a second, I thought, oh, no, I, I'm not liking candy anymore. My taste buds are truly changing. Because I did like those, um, what were those? I know they're not called Bolero cookies because there's, there's something that's spelled like it. But it was those cookies, the orange and uh, chocolate ones from um, Dollar Tree. I actually really like those. And about years ago, you know, when I was younger, I didn't like stuff like that. I thought, you know, that's kind of something that adults like. So when I bit into that, <clears throat> um, the airhead for a second, I thought, oh no, I'm no longer liking candy. But it was just that one thing. It was really weird. I don't know. It was weird. Anyway, this is just a little fun video I decided to do. Um, <clears throat> today I will be taking these nails off and I'll be putting on the new nails. And I will do a candle review on the um the fireside scented candle from um Aldi. So and I'm sorry the sun's shining. So I'll be doing um a candle review on that and then doing my nails of the week. So look for those two videos later today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope y'all had a happy and safe Halloween and I can't wait till this weekend. I'm gonna start Christmas decorating. Yeah. I told my husband I'll have to go ahead and put the trees up. I'm still going to keep all my fall decorations out in my living room. But I want to kind of decorate all the other rooms. And then after Thanksgiving, I'll decorate the living room. I kind of want to keep the living room and maybe the kitchen decorated for fall. But go ahead and decorate Anna Claire's room and then um, upstairs a little bit and um, mine and Brian's room. I think I'm planning on putting up two big trees and... Maybe four small trees if I can find another small tree. Which it shouldn't be hard to find another, another uh, green tree. I'm just deciding I'm going to use the white tree in my room and then try to find another green tree. I'm going to put uh, three of the small trees up. One in the kitchen and one in each of the kids' rooms. I might get two. I might even put one in the bathroom. I don't know. I want to go big this year with my Christmas decorating. I don't think I have decorated this big since... The first few years Brian and I were married. The first few years we were married, I decorated really big. But when Paris and Grayson came along, I stopped decorating so much because a lot of my things were breakable. And, um, yeah, I couldn't put them out because I was afraid Paris would break them. But a lot of the areas that I'll be decorating are up high and Anna Claire won't be able to get to them anyway. So this is kind of becoming more of a chat. But anyway, um, just to let you know where I'm at. And we will see y'all next video. I love you all. Bye.